Hello, it's Lou Collins, and today I want to show you how you can get all your Distress inks and your Distress Oxides organised. That's a mouthful. Now we have a downloadable label sheet over on Craft World. Simply print this out, there's two sheets to it, and we will be adding to it each time there's a new colour release through the Distress ranges. But essentially, all you need to do is print out these sheets for now and chop each of the segments up. Now I'm going to use um, a trimmer for this, but you can use your scissors. Now each of the labels have been perfectly designed so that they will fit around the three inch ink pads. So they will sit just right on the edge there. But before I attach this, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the colour that coordinates to the label, just so I can see at a glance what sort of colour it is. So just with my blending tool, I'm going to just ink some of this colour, and this is sponge sugar, so it's a very pale colour, but I'm going to ink some just onto the end. Now the paler colours, you could get away with going over the wording, but of course some of the darker colours, you just won't see that wording over the top. So I'm just going to leave the two ends there coloured in. Now once that ink is dry, you'll want to take some tape. Now I've got a clear tape here and I'm going to take quite a large piece and just place it directly over the label. Now I would suggest leaving the lid on for this so that you don't um, get your fingers stuck into your ink pad and just carefully place that label into the center there and wrap around. Just tucking the tape underneath the bottom there. Now at the top here, you've obviously got some excess tape. The best way to fold that over is to make some little incisions with some scissors. You could go round and try to um, just snip this off, but it's easier if you just go around with your scissors, two little incisions on each corner there. You can fold the corners in then quite easily fold them over the lip of the ink pad there and you've got that nice and neat. So I'm just going to lift that up and continue folding that over just to make sure it's all hidden in there. Popping my lid back on, now I've got a perfect label so when these are stacked in my storage or stacked up one on top of the other I'll be able to see exactly which is which and what colour it is.